Hey guys, welcome back to The Kate Show. On this week's vlog, I'm taking y'all with me on my Caribbean cruise. Let's go. So let's do a quick little room tour. You walk in, we've got a little sofa to the side. We have the mirror over here. Here I am. Um, a TV, king size bed, and then our lovely balcony. This is definitely bigger than I thought it would be. Like this is really nice y'all. So we are just getting ready to go do our drill and then uh, get settled in and probably take a nap or two. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all the bathroom situation. <clears throat> Here's what it looks like. Ooh, I don't know where the light switch is. Oh, somewhere in here. Anyway, so we've got a little shower over here. Toilet. And I didn't even realize I'd have this much counter space, so I'm feeling like I am in good shape. We're leaving our port. Good morning guys. So we are day two at sea today. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Last night we went to the main dining room as you guys saw and food was okay. Um, I'm interested to check out the other restaurants for sure. We were laughing because Andre had ordered um, steak and it came with a side of vegetables but it was literally one piece of broccoli. I'll put a little picture of it right here. Um, their portions on the ship are super small, so if you order room service, which we did last night, make sure that you order like four of a juice or whatever you need. Um, we ended up walking around the ship and we found the, what is it, the Viking, let me find this like the Viking Crown Lounge. And that was really fun. People were having a great time dancing and um, drinks were flowing. It was great. So I think today we're gonna go walk around. I really wanna see the International Belly Flopping Competition. And we're going to the Hibachi restaurant tonight and then seeing Grace. So stay tuned, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. So this might be our favorite place to lounge. We are up here, this is where we were last night at the Viking Crown Lounge. Got myself a nice little mango daiquiri and overlooking the ocean. Say hi, baby. Yeah. So we just went to go see the show on board, which was great, and it was so great. I loved all the performers. They were super talented. They were all from like England and Scotland, so that was crazy. Um, we loved it. Now we're just waiting on our reservation at the Hibachi restaurant. So I'm excited to give that one a try. We went to the buffet earlier and not much of a buffet person. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. So I'm, fingers crossed tonight. It's amazing. just finished dinner at Izumi and it was awesome and it's a hibachi and sushi restaurant on Independence of the Seas and we had our chef who was Ivan. Highly recommend if you are booking your reservation to like reserve him or say that you, you want him as your chef because he was amazing. So we are about to finish up and get some desserts right Hi, here. Desserts hey! hey. <laughs> but yes, highly, highly recommend sushi and hibachi here. We made it to Levity! 
It's a gorgeous day, and we are getting ready to go on our luxury yacht experience. Grabbing some drinks real quick, and then gonna go walk around. Um, Dragon's Breath is behind me. That's the longest zip line, which is crazy. I don't know that I would ever do that, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna show you guys too. This is really cool. There are two ships at the port. It is Empress of the Seas right there and Independence of the Seas, which is our boat, which is gargantuous in comparison to that one. So, pretty cool. Good morning guys, happy day four. Um, yesterday, as you saw, we checked out Labadee, we loved it. And then we went to Giovanni's Table for dinner, which is one of the specialty restaurants. And I have to say, like everyone that we've encountered, all of the staff has been awesome. Like every server that we've spoke with, any, like all the housekeepers, like Royal Caribbean hires great people and their customer service is awesome. Um, I woke up this morning and went to the buffet for some breakfast. I um, wanted to get some food in before we got off to Jamaica, but I didn't know this could happen on cruise ships. I mean, I guess rookie move, but um, the winds are too high and I mean, I know that we've had like a really choppy cruise, but I guess we can't even dock in Falmouth, which is a huge bummer. Um, we really wanted to check it out, especially since, you know, we had a beach day yesterday and we're really looking forward to exploring it. So I guess we are going to go figure out what's going on on board and, you know, hopefully get a few cocktails and maybe go hang out by the pool. I don't know, I'm so bummed, but hey man, it's mother nature, what can you do, right? Good morning, so we are on our final day of sailing back to Fort Lauderdale. Um, what did we do last night? We went to Chopped, which is like the American steakhouse on the boat. Um, definitely a slower paced dinner, but really good. Um, we enjoyed it, and then we really just took it easy last night because we've been going out almost every night and having fun at the Viking Crown Lounge. Um, I don't know what we're gonna get into today. I'd like to go kind of just walk the ship and hang out by the pool mainly and really enjoy this nice weather because I have a feeling when I go back home to Indy it's going to be chilly. So I forgot to film an outro to my vlog this week. I feel like this is going to happen every time. So hopefully I'll start remembering to do that. Um, I hope you enjoyed following along on my cruise. Um, if you did, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe below. I post everything from vlogs to beauty reviews to finance tips. You name it, it's probably on this channel. Thanks guys and until next week, bye.